our study of evil, number 39. And we've been talking about, in this part, the evil of religion. And we did Jeremiah chapter 10, the evil of the Christmas tree. Jeremiah chapter 35, verse 15. I have sent also unto you all my servants and prophets. God is, God is, you know, before God judges Judah, before God judges any nation, he sends a warning. And he's been sending prophets and men to Israel and to Judah. Get right, repent, get right, repent. Rising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now every man from his evil way. He wants them to repent. Amend your doings. And go not, go not after other gods and serve them. Which they're doing. Ye shall dwell in the land Israel. Israel is a body of land. Not the church. Which I have given you. And to your fathers. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. But you have not inclined your ear, nor hearken unto me. Now every man from his evil way. God wants you. Evil would be here is a sin. Following after other gods. You are in a sin called evil. Following, worshiping, and serving other gods. Today, Christians are to preach the gospel. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's a warning before a man dies. Repentance and turning from their sins, religion, from the ways of man in the world and the devil unto back to God. Man is to quit serving himself, the world, and the devil. And that, that goes for Christians too. And the evil is serving self, world, and the devil, and gods. Your evil way. Now we know of God that there is no evil. Thank God when we get to glory. In glory. In the eternal afterlife for the Christians, the new Jerusalem, the new earth, and the new heavens, there is never no more to be any evil. Evil as a sin and evil as a consequence of sin. And you say, Stiley, why are you studying it? Because we are living in a world today where sinners, I'm a sinner. I was listening to instrumental hymns today while I'm reading my Bible and I'm confessing, I'm repenting to God and how vile I am because I know better. I repent. I, I'm a sinner. This flesh sins. I'm a child of God, but if we confess our sins, that's there because I sin. And God wants us to repent and God wants us to come from the evil way. And the evil way is not the way, the truth, and the life of Jesus Christ. It's for the lost and it's for the saved. And when you walk contrary and you go against the way of God, as often found in Pilgrim's Progress, Pilgrim himself and other men that he met along the way. I remember part in Pilgrim's Progress, they come up to a hillside and there's a path to the right and there's a path to the left and going up a hill that's steep. Well, the ones that went left and the ones that went right, they were never seen. And as Pilgrim goes off to Doubting Castle, he almost didn't make it to the Promised Land. Pilgrim, even at one point, had to turn around and go back another way to get his evidence. That's an evil way because he would have been a lot further. How much time it took Pilgrim to turn and go back and get his evidence. 
It would have been that much sooner he would have got the glory. And we all have that way that walks contrary to God, whether it be religion or it be in our own life. But religion, the fall of worshiping gods is an evil way. And God wants you to repent. And Christians can worship and serve other gods. Jeremiah 44, 17. But we know cert but we will certainly do whatsoever thing goes forth out of our mouth. This is the answer that Judah gives to Jeremiah's preaching. Jeremiah is preaching by the inspiration of God. God said, Open your mouth, tell them what I tell you. And Jeremiah has been faithful to the word of God. Jeremiah has been faithful to God, and the people respond. We're going to do whatsoever comes out of our mouth. To burn incense unto the queen of heaven. There's religion. And this is long before Mary. This is long before Mary's mother. Mary's grandmother. Mary's great grandmother. Mary's great 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 grandmother. Mary's great 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 grandmother. Mary is not the only queen of heaven. She's found in Jeremiah. And to pour drink offerings unto her. And, and, and the, the queen of heaven to the religious system called the Catholic Church. The drink offerings is the blood of Jesus Christ. The literal blood of Jesus Christ they teach you. As we have done. We and our fathers, our kings and our princes. It's a unified Judean system that we honor the queen of heaven. It is the worldwide universal mother church. All over the world. That the Bible says kings have lived deliciously upon her. They have done this evil. In the cities of Judah, in the streets of Jerusalem. For then had we plenty of victuals. And we, and we were well and saw no evil. You know what they're saying? We've stopped serving the queen of heaven. And you know what happened? All these troubles and problems came. And what they've taken, the troubles and problems that have came, instead of God warning them, as God is warning the world today of COVID-19, They may not be turning to the queen of heaven, but they're trying to turn to the pharmaceutical company and please give us that, that, that shot, give us that pill, give us that antidote and not turning to God. Mary, the queen of heaven, the Catholic church, and to some, the mother of God, which she's not. Under the guise of the mother church. We were protected. So it seemed. Well where is their queen of heaven. When Babylon came in three times. And the third time the city was sacked. Yet the more you trust in the queen of heaven. The more God gets angry. And the more you build. And you fill that cup of the wrath of God. It's not Mary protecting you. It's the long suffering of God and the patience of God. That he's not soon angry. And the, and the problems and the lack of food. The lack of water. And God saying. I'm trying to make your life miserable that you will come back to me. It's chastising. When, 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 a, when a father takes a belt and he whips your behind. It don't feel good. It's to have you, oh, I got to get right. I got to get right, right with the Father. And absolutely, here's an evil of trusting the Queen of Heaven or the Mother of God. And then saying, well, because we haven't done to her the service that's supposed to be due to her, this is why all the evil has happened. You have missed the complete biblical point. You have missed the complete worship of God or the worship of a goddess.
and nowhere from Genesis to Revelation, the 66 books of the Bible, does God ever tell any of his people before the law, during the law, the church age, the tribulation period, the millennia, and the, etern the, the eternal life. Never does he tell us to put our faith and trust in any goddesses or any gods. And that was the last two. Um, we've got that finished up, that finished up religion there. I mean, you got to realize religion is man made and the devil approved. You got to realize. That the, the, the festival of Easter and Christmas is Babylonian, it is Roman, it is pagan, it is Egyptian, it is the worship of other gods and goddesses. And it is an evil that God wants you to repent. And because I like it and because it will get you into trouble. You may be worshiping a God while you're not worshiping the God. America says, in God we trust. Which one? Catholic, Buddhist, Islam, Baptist. You know, there's a Baptist Jesus and there's the biblical Jesus. Paul tells us that there's another Jesus, another spirit, and another gospel. One nation under God. Well, that's a joke. Because if we were one nation under God, why is that one God, that one Jesus, and the one Bible not allowed in your schools, your public schools, not allowed in your universities, and not allowed in your courts? Two thousand four, I saw today was the first time I, I I entered into the prison ministry, and I had let's see, one minute, two, three. I've had three correctional facility prison ministries since two thousand four, and I haven't done it in a couple of years since my feet have gone bad, and right now the prisons are closed to the ministry. But there was a there was a, a a prison ministry I was in in Niantic or East Line, Connecticut. I won't give the name. And they the first day they brought me into the chapel. Now I'm a Bible believing Christian, Baptist, old time Methodist. And they brought me into their chapel to you know introduce me and. Once they find out where my standing was, I had a building that was way in the back. When it came to my time of teaching, I was way in the back. And I was put under a man who never went to church, did not have a home church. Did not train his family. Now, there was a time that my family and I, we were without a church because there was no church. I was the church under King James Bible. And I got kicked out of that prison. Because the last message I preached that when you get out of prison, it was a prison, it wasn't, you know, maximum security. It, w it was a holding cell for minor crimes and you were going to get out. I think the most that you would have been in that prison is a couple months. And my message was when you get out of here, you get yourself into a true Bible believing church. You get yourself in a King James Bible believing church. You get away from the people who sold you your drugs. You get away from the alcohol that you were involved in. You get your life cleaned up. You get your right life right. You follow God and then you do right. And I returned the next week to have this guy who never went to church and and, you know, all the junk they had there. Uh, we can't have it here. People complained and they were offended. And that wasn't the first time. It won't be the last time. 
But in this prison correctional facilities, when they brought me into the chapel, and the chapel, the ceiling was round. And they had up on the chapel, they had every symbol of religion. The yin yang, the, the the naked Buddha belly, and the the uh, the crescent moon, and the cross, and the star of David, and you name it, it filled the whole. I don't know how many they were. And then I, they had a little book book area, book uh, library area, and I walked over there and I found the junk, Joe Olstein and uh, the the Koran and. Just junk. And that is evil. It is evil to have that religious junk. By the way, Islam is dumped. When I left the prison system, because my Islam was a denominating denomination of the prison. And when it came to the Bible, believing, God honoring, serving the Lord Jesus Christ, let's truly do the right way instead of the evil way we looked at. That man's got to go. You got to go. And then you wonder why people get arrested and they return back to jail. Because you're not showing the correct way. 